back again for um, the second round fixture. Um, we've got well the second phase of the World Cup, this match against Paraguay. And it's been a while, so um, well, I can see that I've got the team all ready. Like I want them with Michael and Brian Lautrup a little, a little behind Moller up front. And Moller gets the chance from the beginning of this match, I think. I well, actually, he got the chance from the beginning of the other match, was what I didn't remember. So actually, I want to swap him with Sand, who came on and, and scored and did well. So really, the biggest um, trouble I've had with the lineup is whether to use... Jan Heinze or Michael Schoenberg on the on the wing back, the left wing back, and whether to use the same thing in the other side actually Helbig or Colding, and I chose to place um, Helbig on the midfield instead because um, Weekhorst, who was important in during the real World Cup in real life, well um, he's he has very low morale and hasn't been playing all that well. So, and has been subbed in most matches, like this one. But I think uh, Tufting did all right in the last match. So now I'm trying him again. And, um, well, let's get down to business. This is probably going to be a thriller. It's not, it's two goals who don't um, score a lot of goals, or hasn't so far. Um, the leading top scorer of um, of the World Cup. There's actually three forwards at the moment, and they've scored four each. And my top goal scorer is Michael Laudrup with his two goals so far. And a goal this first half. Uh, well, maybe I said that a little bit too early, but yeah, it's uh, Schmeichel against Schillerwer, so it's um, goalkeeping legends. Uh, facing off in this second phase, right, and I don't know, no one's really hitting the target, um, who is doing fine, even though he has only a rating of 6, I think it, it looks okay with the, the sweeper position, Colding and Heinz are playing okay, I guess, mm, Tufting, Tifting just not hitting the target at all, but it sure is shooting a lot, um, as far as I can tell. And Sand, well, and, and Brian Lauter for that matter, not really, um, not really playing very well. They're playing a four-five-one defensive. That might be part of the reason with the passing style. I think maybe I should just switch to a direct style. Mm, I will just because I think, and maybe I have to um, get Michael Laudrup off the pitch at some point during the second half because he looked tired. But um, I have to play my chances, right? So let's try with a direct style against those. South Americans. Now we've got the free kick. Brian Lauter, but yeah, not really anything happening with that. So well, we might even go into extra time and all that stuff if we don't get any goals. But hopefully we will get some Danish ones. Hmm. And, okay, I was just about to to hit the, the space bar now. Not, not the space bar, I mean, uh, just tap the screen, really, in order to pause the game and, and take a look at this. So we've got Sand not um, performing very well, and Tufting, and Brian Laudrup, and Michael Laudrup with the yellow card, and, but he's... He's making lots of passes at least. 
I don't know what Brian is doing. Mm. Right, so I cannot, I can't stop all of them. So Peter Muller, he's poor form and ever sand. He has 17 in determination and he's superb, superb. And not really that tired, wasn't he? Was he? So 83. And we might go into extra time. We've got Steve Tufting disappointing as well. Um, maybe I'll just have Goldbeck get on the pitch and hopefully, hopefully he can provide a little bit more ammunition to the people up front. Mm. Colding is doing very well. I'm glad I used him from, from the beginning of the match. So, yeah. I don't want to use all my substitutions. Don't kick the ball away, Thomas. All right. But I... I do want them to be ready if we get another match at this World Cup. So... Brian Laudrup is really not playing very well at all. But I guess I don't have too many options um, without changing the formation, which might not be a bad idea actually because this is not going too well. Um, so probably... I don't know. Probably I should try Rene Henriksen instead of Brian Laudrup. And then I'm doing this. A lot of changes. Schoenberg, he plays very well in the defensive midfield. Goldbeck can be that guy in the middle right here. And Michael Laudrup, I didn't want to do that. I want to just move him all the way up front. Um, probably... Hmm, would this be wise? But I have to play my chances, so probably that, like that. Mm. Yeah, I'll try that. See how it goes. Right. So, last ten minutes. Direct style. Last ten minutes. So far, of the 90 minutes, anyway. End of normal time. Right. So that's not great. That might mean that all my players are really spent when, when it's time for, um, for the next match. But, well, this is important, so I really don't want to, oh, no, I don't want to substitute Michael Lautrup right now, not until I have a goal at least, because he's one of the best penalty takers that I have. I think Goldbeck, I've seen his name pop up a few times, so that probably was good substitution or a good choice to bring in from the bench sand come on now only Danish chances in this first half of the extra time so hopefully that's indication that we're doing something right mm. they haven't used any any substitutions yet. 
Michael Lauder is really tired. And he's only got 10 in stamina. So, yeah. This is not great. Muller, he has 20 in determination. Four coin. I don't know. Should I put him on? Doing it. Um, up with Michael Laudrup. Peter Muller, he can score from the penalty spot as well. So we've got two straight up forwards. I mean, like tall forwards with a lot of heading up front right now. And, well, I think I'm going to do this just to pile up the pressure. Don't, maybe not that. Maybe that's going a bit too far like that. Yes, yeah, I guess that's all right, isn't it? No, it isn't. We want Schmeichel. Influence 18. I don't know why the game just didn't didn't just pick him as as the captain. It could have been not not Reaper. No, um, Schmeichel. That's fine. Right. Let's go. Now. Oh, damn, Shaka. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Denmark. No! That didn't just happen. You don't get any closer. Anyone who's played Championship Manager knows that. That was like two or three chances. Pure luck that they didn't. I mean, Paraguayan luck that, that they didn't concede. Sand. There's a lot of chances. But no luck so we're down to the penalty shootout right so i might regret having having uh, subbed um, michael laudrup so let's just start with ever sand got helvig got oh, gold back of course peter muller Poor form, but still, uh, it's hard to, uh, to move the little buttons around. I'm just looking for, I don't know exactly what to look for. I'm looking at shooting, set pieces, technique, and also flair. And, and determination. Lots of things actually. I'm just hoping, really. Probably should swap this guy for that guy because he's the better uh, penalty taker. So we've got um, some of them are pretty useless in penalty competitions. Uh, this guy's not bad either. So what about Schoenberg? I didn't. Right, so I didn't. Um, I didn't pick the fifth one yet. So who should that be? Not calling right. So that would be good. But probably probably Helbeck. And yeah. I'm trying that. So hopefully we should be able to score in the first three and with a little luck that'll decide the matter. Let's see what happens. Have a sand. Come on, Schmeichel. Bjarni. Yeah. 
Bjarni Goldback, as they called him in Chelsea. Yes! And Peter Moore. Never mind the poor form. I think I did right in choosing him as the third penalty taker. Now, let's have another great save from Schmeichel, please. He puts it wide, right? So, Son Colling, my man. Yes. And so we've got Helbig as the fifth. Um, but, but we won. I, <laughs> yeah, I just didn't, didn't realize at first. That was great. Bjarni Goldbeck really made a difference. Got 19 in stamina. Michael Lasser on the other hand, 10. He's 34 years old. Okay, five last out after the World Cup in real life. So he's got the second choice here. So has Italy with El Piero notching up another goal. So he's alone in, in the lead to um, pick up the Golden Boot Award. So that's pretty great. So let's see if there are any other matches. I'm pretty pleased as well. Um, but credit goes to the players as well, I'm sure. Um, mostly because, um, yeah, I, um, I changed a few things with the players and the editor. Some of them have disappointed though, this guy. He really hasn't played well. I will not be using him again if I can avoid it. So, let's just see um, who I'm up against and click through maybe some of the uh, other matches. So we've got Romania beating Germany. That's impressive. George Popescu with his first goal in the... All right, so Patrick Kluivert um, with his... First goals in the tournament, that's a hat-trick. And Russia kicked out of the tournament. Varigny. I've had him in one of my clubs once. He was really good. Um, so. Yeah. So it's the 1st of, uh, July, 1st of July. And... Well, the next match in the World Cup, um, we've got a few matches, only those two matches coming up in the second round, England versus Brazil, that's pretty cool. So let's see how that goes and who we will meet in the quarterfinals. Wow, sorry England, that's um, two goals from Ronaldo and one from Sonny Anderson. A red card from Tony Adams, not from David Beckham this time. I don't know what he was doing, but it um, didn't go well for the English. And Spain beating Colombia expectedly. So let's, yeah, Richard Wright. Maybe they should have used him. So we've got Italy. And that's uh, Del Piero. Luckily they've got uh, Conte suspended and Maldini injured. A few weeks. So I don't know whether that'll be a deciding factor or not. They've got lots of great players. They're playing Right, right, a 3 5 2 sweeper formation um, with Del Piero and Sola up front. It's pretty cool. So now that Maldini is out, they will be using Ciro Ferreira, and <laughs> he's just as good. So, uh, the 3rd of July, so that's tomorrow, Spain against Brazil. 
in one of the other quarterfinals. Right? So that's quite exciting. So, um, and maybe that'll be the end of the tournament for me because, I don't know. It's hard a position, isn't it? France against Argentina, Italy against Denmark, Holland against Romania, and Spain versus Brazil. That's pretty cool. So now I should remember to save, and then I'll see you guys next time.